What's going on, boy? Here, welcome back to another Xenoverse 2 video. Now, as promised from the last video, I, I am going to. This actually is a Xenoverse 2 mod video, but I'm just going to show how to use the Xenoverse 2 save editor. And um, yeah, this does kind of require mods because apparently, apparently, it's kind of like a modded, you know, type of stuff. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and let's hop into the video. Okay, first off, what you're gonna have to do, open your XV2 save editor, go to file, click on open, then down below, scroll down below on the left side, go to where it says Windows, don't focus on it, so go to Program Files, then scroll down, go all the way to Steam, if you have XV2 on Steam, then go to User Data, then go to the numbers, go to where it says, then go to the number where it says 3, then go to Remotes, go to DBXV2, and then click on the save data. Don't worry about what that says. Now, you should be able to see shit like this. You should be able to see shit like this. Your name, your same, your race, your voice, your shit like that, your level, attribute points, and just any, and then characters. Now, as you guys can see, my CAC level is level 86. So, before you change it, look down to where it is. I'm gonna change it to level 99. If it's positive, it says yes then that means it's in a good shit right there. Now onto presets. Now, presets, you can change your skills, your clothing, your accessories, your super souls, and your QQ bang attacks. <laughs> and um, yeah, you can even change which, you can even pick which presets you want to customize. As you guys can see, I've already, you know, customized my shape in game. As you guys can see, I got some modding moves, the modded final flash, shooting spirit, and stuff like that. And as for mentors, yes, you guys can see my mentors, Beerus Sama. Hakaishin. Now, if you guys want to unlock these these things right here, if you can, so if you want, y'all want to unlock this, you look on the right side. Look slowly. Look on the right side. Click on unlock all. Click on where it says unlock all. Then click on Z rank all. Once you do, click on the characters' names, and then you will see that they're all like you know what they want you to do. Now it's for customization. You can customize any custom character that you have. So as Let's say few for example. So I'm a, I want to give him. Where's that super cell? And I'm trying to look for that super cell. This is a super cell that I gave him on my PS4. Um, damn, this is a tricky one. This is a tricky. One. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna. We'll just focus on few later. I'm gonna just focus. <laughs> I'm just focus on few later. Let me. Let me. Let me go to my boy Beer Sama. So as you guys can see. As he, his shit is already customized, I've customized it in game as I did for the others. Now, for quest, for quest, this shit will pop up. So read this, pause the video, or if you're doing this right now, you can read this before clicking the X or OK. Now, the second paragraph where it shows tools and validate flags, we'll focus on that shit later. And then um, once you've read all of that, you can now click on the X. Or the um, freaking OK button. Um, hold up, it's gonna come. Hold on, let me just read it a little bit. And uh, yeah, so um, now it was, it's gonna show all that shit. Now, now on the top, on the top, where it says Time Patrol, that I mean that means uh, that's the story mode. So if you want to unlock all instead of doing it, unlock, click on it says unlock all, and do like before, and then Z rank all. Um, this left this part where it says where it says all where it still also is locked and hidden. Uh, you can worry about that because you know you can like you know do all that shit. You can do that stuff later in game. Infinite story was forget about that. Parallel quest. Now the same thing we're gonna do. That's the same thing we're gonna do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just like we did before. As you guys can see, before we continue, as you guys can see, my all my shit is completed. Even money parallel quest. We're gonna unlock all. Then, once you click on lock all, Z rank all. Now, about the left side, where it says lost and both and shit like that, hidden. We can worry about that later. Timer, if we're not going to do that. Expert missions. Now, the same thing. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to click. We're not, don't worry about this left side where it says both and stuff like that. Because I already did um, I already did this before I recorded this video. Like yesterday, shit like that. And then, yeah. So, now, play data. You're, gonna have to, you're not going to have to worry about that. Cause that's what's up. Now, inventory. You can like choose if you can unlock all the clothing and how much, how much um quantity of the quantity that you want in your you know store, 
or in like your customization you can unlock um, a lot of bodies you know like clothing like super cells accessories qq bangs and then and then artworks and mascots and stuff like that capsules now skills super attacks now the best part about this is that you can not only unlock dlc skills and original skills from the game you can also unlock whichever modded skill that you want to pick so as you guys should see full power injury ball and um destructive you know destructive sphere stuff like that shit like that all unlocked. now for dlc skills speaking of dlc skills if you want to unlock dlc skills using this thing the only you're going you're only going to have to unlock you're only gonna have to unlock the dlc skills from the dlcs that you have because if you unlock dlc skills from dlcs that you don't have it'll spoil your game even if you do it correctly and so your game will crash and then you're gonna have to delete your character and make a new one and then you have to like you know start over which is pretty much a drag the same goes for ultimates evasives and awoken skills um here call cm don't worry shit about that because no one does that except for a tie shout out to Ty. and then uh zero for some one hero you don't have to worry about that either now all right so you've done all this shit. so all right now for, all right now to zenny zenny and tv medals the max zenny and tv medals in the game are 999 million 999,999 tp and zenny in the game that's the max in the game i'm not even kidding bro a lot of modders they have that on ps4 and shit like that so you can put that to max if you want to have max tp you can do shit like that you can like you know put all that numbers so once you once you have like everything that you want unlocked we're gonna have to save the game sight now we're gonna save the game sight now don't don't save it yet don't save it yet oh whoops accidentally clicked out so where it says tools you're gonna have to go to where it says tools then click validate flags because that's what we mentioned before when we clicked on quest so you're gonna read all that then click okay and then once you've done that you can click save and do shit like that so so now that you finally have everything that you wanted unlocked we can finally go into the game of xenoverse 2 so let's check it out all right you greedy bastards i'm back so as you guys can see i'm in xenoverse 2 and um we're gonna check for the mode and in three two one surprise so we got new characters unlocked characters that i didn't even need to do the story mode for or parallel quests looking we so got some skills when the money final flash change spirit destructive crash you know destruction moments modded super so we even got my modded characters even though we got some so as we look at through the whole roster as you guys can see we got new character we got new characters so the only characters where we don't have unlocked is the shadow dragons besides super villain omega shenon but that's what we got the dragon Balls for and plus I, I think you should be able to have the dragon Balls and all the dragon Balls and stuff like that and uh seriously we got my dlcs and mods in the back so Hey, shout out to God of Destruction Cooler. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go be right back. And um, now we at the Parallel Quest store. And um, we're going to check our Parallel Quest if they're all Z-Ranks. And, bam. Yep, they're all Z-Ranks. Didn't even do them. That's what the, that's what the, um, as we two save it, they're just best. It is what it is. So, yeah, even my modern Parallel Quest are, you know well done so now let's check our estimations over right over here and uh, they should all be like yep z ranks they all z ranks even my modded parallel quest my i'm sorry my modded estimation only one of them so they're all z ranks shout out to this one that one is um based off the um the one of the raids previous raids and then you guys can see my zen is all you know max game and um yeah that's all now for keys for customization characters you also get the keys so as you guys can see i got some key characters here we got my boy broly my boy yanemba you see broly looking clean you never too we got dbs 17 tapey dapey on blue gogeta trunks you know super saiyan 4 vegeta <clears throat> super saiyan 4 goku Zamasu, even though I don't have this DLC, Bardock, and then Future Gohan as well. And then we got all these people. That's right, we got all of them. We be chilling. And Goku there. We got the whole roster. And if I got more DLCs, then I'll be able to get all, 
all customization keys and then all customization characters. So that's it really the end of this video. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Other than that, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.